Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial today where we're going to talk about how to create custom static titles in vMix. Now as you might know, you can actually add titles directly to your vMix production by going to Add Input and then going to Titles and selecting one of the pre-built templates that we have. So you can add your own text to these titles. Now what happens if you want to add your own logo or image to those titles or have a custom uh, size or shape to your um, title? Well, you can do that easily through vMix by creating your own custom titles. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. What you're going to need is a program in which you can create an image. So either a paid program like Photoshop or a free editing program like Paint.net or GIMP or something along those lines. So what we're going to do is today is we're going to show you how to create those custom titles in Paint.net, which is a free editing program that we've been using for many years to create simple and easy graphics. So what you'll need to do is go to File, and then you'll need to create a new image. So you can do this in any image editing program. What I've done here is created it the same size as my video production. So the reason that I've done that is so that I can make sure I know exactly where my titles are going to line up when I add it to my production. So what I'm going to do is create a transparent image in order to overlay that. So it needs transparency to overlay on top of my video or camera that I've got in vMix. Next I'm just going to create a simple uh, rectangle down the bottom in order to a place to put my text and my logo. And then I'm going to just create a small, se oops, small separator line here. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my logo to it. So I'm just going to go and find my logo. Okay, so that's about it. So I'm ready to go. I've got my vMix logo. I've got my area to put my text in. So I've left this area blank on the right so I can add my text in in vMix. So vMix will allow me to create areas where I can add my text for my names, you know, my headlines and those type of things. So once I'm ready to go, I need to save it. So I'll save this as a PNG file. So that's important because you'll be able to save the um, transparency. All right, now once that's done, we just need to go back to vMix. Now you notice down the bottom right hand corner there's three little lines. That's known as the hamburger menu in vMix. So you just need to click on the hamburger menu and you'll be able to see the vMix title designer. Just click on that. Now once you've clicked on the vMix title designer you'll be able to create a new custom title. So we're going to go to new and then make sure that we're using the right resolution for our production. So this is the same resolution as our production here. If you've got a different one you'll need to select that from the list. Then click OK. And we'll need to add the title that we created before by going to Add Image and then adding the title. So now we're good to go. We've got our title in our production here. Um, and what we need to do is create text areas. So we're going to go to Add Text. And then we're going to put in a text box. So on the right hand side, I can edit these, this information. I can change the font. So we're going to do it to match our other font, we can change the size, we can change the color if we wanted to, we can change the positioning by moving it around and also from the position menu, menu here. Now what we want to do is make sure that we extend the text box all the way to the end, that way that we can write whatever we need to all the way to the edge of the title. Okay, so now we have a very simple one line title set up. What happens if we want to add a second line? So say we want to have a subheading on our titles. We're going to move this one up a bit and then we're going to go to add text and then add this down the bottom. So we're going to st extend this one as well right to the end and we're just going to make this text a lot smaller. And we can change the font again. And then what we're going to do is change the color of this one to orange. Okay, so once you've got your title um, t text areas set up, you've added your background, what you can do is go to the um, 
save it. So we'll save this as. This will, this will save it as an XAML file that we can now use in vMix. Okay, so now once we've saved our title, we're just going to go back to vMix. Okay, so now we're back to vMix. Um, all we need to do is go to Add Input, go to Title, Browse, and then we can select the title that we've just created. Click OK, select it again, OK, and now we can edit the text. Then once we've got the text ready to go, we can start using it in our overlay channels in vMix. Um, so we can do that as a temporary overlay, or if we wanted to, we could create a, a more permanent overlay where we turn it on and off. Or you can add, actually add it to the multi-view section of an input. So the input multi-view allows you to layer different inputs on top of each other. So we have this background and we want to add the title permanently. We can do that in the multi-view. So what happens if you want to edit the text now? What I'm going to do here is we can right click on the title editor and then we can edit the text. So you notice that that's live and that's written live here. If you don't want it to happen live, you can turn that off and you can edit the text and when you want to push that particular title live, you just click live and it will appear um, when you've done that. From this menu, you can also edit the text. So if I want to make that larger, I can press that button, smaller, I can change the font, I can change the color, all those type of things can be done directly from this menu here. So if you're looking to edit any of the custom titles that you've got set up, you just go back to the vMix title designer, and then go to open, select it, and then you can select the, like, the text, and you can move that around, make changes to it, you can select the other text, move that around, change the color, all that kind of stuff. Um, can be done from here again. Then you can save it or save it as something new. Okay, so I think that about covers it. That's shown you how to create a just a custom image in any image editing program like Photoshop or Paint.net like we showed there. Um, and then you create your own custom title in the vMix title designer. Then once you've done that, you can bring in the text and you can edit it uh, for your production. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to send us an email via vmix.com and also check out our other YouTube tutorial videos where we go into overlays, multi-view and, and titling in a little bit more depth. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vmix tutorial.